Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the Welcome to a little studio vlog. I feel like it's really echoey in here because there's not a lot in here. Obviously this is my studio. It's the spare bedroom in our house that we moved in in April and it hasn't had a lot of done. Well, to be fair, it's had nothing done to it yet. It's just got all my stock in here. We are waiting on a bookshelf to be delivered so I can like have everything on shore. Um, I need some kind of like better setup for packing and yeah I'm excited to decorate in here as well. I don't think we'll be doing that for another couple of months because I kind of need to decide what I really want to do. I'm thinking of doing it like really obscure because I love the idea of having black and pink on this wall in front of me actually because black and pink are my two favourite colours if you didn't know and then obviously we have the wallpaper behind us which I do quite like so I don't know whether to just keep that for now obviously my business is selling mostly vases and plant pots so having a leafy wallpaper fits with the vibe anyway and then this wall I'm thinking as maybe like the gallery wall maybe the shelving unit can go on here I just thought don't mind it looks like a mess I mean it's a mess really but yeah I thought we could do a little studio vlog today now this is kind of like a trial run because I've been thinking for a couple of weeks of starting a brand new channel just for my business Alpha Utopia which is really scary because you obviously have no idea if you're going to have an audience, if anybody's going to want to see what you're doing, but I just feel like I'm in my studio, I'm like rolling on my chair, it's probably so annoying. I'm obviously in this studio quite a few days out of the week. Um, I'm on my own in here, I listen to a lot of podcasts and I just feel like it might be nice to have somebody to talk to and share what I'm working on and things, so I don't know, I've been thinking about it but I'm kind of nervous so this is like a trial work, trial run this is like a trial run to see if anybody will be interested in it my drink of choice today is the mango pepsi max I'm actually quite enjoying this Nathan isn't a fan it's kind of quite sweet today's plan of action because it's so messy in here I don't even know where to like start my hair's still wet as well because I have had a shower this morning. Nathan's gone to work. He's working till 10 o'clock tonight. So I've kind of started my day a bit later. I was doing a few bits around the house that you'll probably see in the next vlog. I've started the kitchen gallery wall and it's looking incredible. I feel like it's been such a long morning already. We're on quarter to two now. So we're starting our work at quarter to two. I've edited the bookstore vlog, which you'll have already seen. And now I'm ready to start my day I just don't know where to start I'm thinking I'm gonna start because I have some clay here that's half finished so I have I'm so excited about this one I've done a little peanut butter on toast and on here we have some little bananas so they are gonna go on like this and then it's also gonna double as an incense holder so the incense is gonna go in there this stick is covered in clay and paint and god knows what and that needs putting together and then sealing then we also have this one this is gonna be like a rainbow sprinkle cake like a confetti type cake so all of this is going to be painted with confetti and the two sides here and then we have buttercream in the middle and this is also going to be an incense holder and then we have a restock of the pancake stack which again of course it doubles as an incense holder so I just need to paint the strawberries on that and then that will be sealed. So I think I'm gonna start with them three things. Then I really wanna paint this blank box with like a flowery 
um, like a retro flower pattern. Oh, we've got a piece of cardboard stuck to it. We have the sprinkle vase that needs the donuts adding because I'm also restocking that. So down here, I've had some little donuts that have been drying that need painting. And we also have a restock of the matchstick cake slice holder so match i'll show you at the end of this vlog because it should be i should be finished this one the matchstick sitting here and it sits on your shelf like this and then it has a striker pad that i add to it and yeah i'm thinking rainbow cake because the last one i did was like pink and yellow um that one sold straight away so thank you to whoever bought that but yeah i'm thinking rainbow for this one. I'm gonna show you the new bits I've been working on because I need to list all them today. I think I need to make a list first, don't I? Because my head's like spinning a little bit. I need to make a list of what we're gonna get done today and then we'll feel a bit more relaxed. I really hope you enjoy this studio vlog. I don't know why I'm nervous to film it because I filmed, I think it's because I've only filmed one small business vlog in the past and that was when I lived at my mom's house and I don't know obviously this channel is our couple's channel so I don't want to like if nobody wants to watch this because obviously you guys that maybe watch our couple's videos and not necessarily into like studio vlogs small biz business vlogs but this is just a trial run as I said I am thinking about <laughs> starting a new channel but with that I'm thinking am I just adding too many things to my plate like we have another thing in the works that we've been meaning to like finalize and everything for a while now so I'm like am I just adding another thing to my already full plate I don't know but I'm probably gonna do it anywhere because I just love being busy and I love having like things going on okay list first in my to-do list which I added way too many things to that to-do list I'm never gonna get all them done um I started gluing the bananas onto the little toast I use the Gorilla Glue it's just I've tried a few and it's the best one I found that really keeps them on it was on to sealing the clay so I use Mod Podge to seal and then once the Mod Podge has cured after a few weeks um, then I will spray it with an acrylic sealer sometimes I don't wait the few weeks sometimes I'll literally spray it on after a few days and it just takes that tackiness away and I was also filming this little bit to make a TikTok later on because my clear videos on TikTok are a favourite right now. For a while it was transitions and now everybody seems to be enjoying the little clay mix that I'm doing. So yeah, I just made sure I sealed all of that. I was too impatient and didn't wait for the banana to dry so I had to kind of go around it a bit more gentle than I usually would. And then next up, it was time to mix all the colours that I needed to use today, which was basically every colour because I was doing sprinkles on the cake slices and the donuts, which <laughs> are the most tedious little things to paint sprinkles on. I have looked at maybe getting resin sprinkles, but I feel like because my business is obviously about painting, I kind of like that my sprinkles are painted on but maybe we could do painted and resin like a mixture of both but I haven't decided yet, that yet so I'm just painting the sprinkles on the cake incense holder here.
I'm about to do a very satisfying part of the pancake stack, which is the chocolate drizzle. I do this straight out of the paint tube. The um, acrylic paint I use for this one is the Peebo, Peebo, I don't know how you say that. Um, matte brown. So make sure it's coming out. I'm also filming this part for TikTok. So I have my phone set up over here. I don't know why I get so nervous to do this bit. Okay, are we ready? Here goes. Okay. Oh, I literally hold my breath when I do that bit. And then I usually will go in afterwards and just kind of, so like here where we've got a big lump, I'll spread it out a little bit so that it's kind of more drizzled, make it go down the edge a little bit, take it right up there, same again here, like just make it go down a little bit more. Um, and yeah. Then I just add a few extra bits in where I don't, like I'll take this here so we don't waste any. <laughs> and go drag that all the way down over the edge. And that is the chocolate drizzle. And then this needs sealing. And then that would be the pancake stack done. And sorry, I've got a paintbrush in my mouth. The incense part is right there. I didn't think I was in an emotional mood, but apparently I'm tearing up at a, <laughs> I'm tearing up at a YouTube comment that I've just read. I don't know why I'm getting so emotional. It's not even that deep. Somebody, Shelby, has just commented saying Honestly, you guys and your videos have become my safe place. And now I am emotional. I feel like all we've ever wanted for these videos is to just be like an escape and a release for people and, and just a little bit of fun for people. And the fact that they come across that way to some of you guys is clearly making somebody who doesn't cry cry the thing about being somebody who doesn't cry i don't know if anybody else not that i don't cry but i don't cry very often um i don't know if anybody else is like this when i do cry i find it so hard to stop like the tears just keep rolling even if i'm trying to just get on with whatever i'm doing the tears will just keep streaming like silent crying um anyway After that little interlude, thank you so much if you watch our videos, clearly. I don't know if we say it often enough, but it really means everything because... <sighs> anyway, I'm not going to carry on getting deep because I need to stop crying because I can't see what I'm doing with this big film of water over my eyes. So let's get back on with <laughs> the creative, happy video that I'm trying to do. Driving down the road that I grew up on once again It's when I pass your door the memories come back again Pictures of us flooding back just like a wave Makes me wonder what happened, what you're up to today Remember when we stole your mother's car, we drove for days Teenagers with too many feelings and rage We were higher than the ceiling Little fingers to the sky I remember thinking if I only could stop the time So, time check, we're on just about quarter past four 
So far, I've managed to finish p painting the clay, and I also did just finish the little retro flower trinket box. I did manage to film some TikToks, and next up on the list that I wanted to get done was upload all of these listings because I'm not doing a Christmas launch as such this year. Like, I'm not doing Christmas themed bits, but I am doing um, lots and lots of new vases, plant pots, clay, incense holders. So, I made myself a little snack cup of tea, apple, a snacker jack, a couple of custard creams, and I sat for maybe like an hour uploading all of them things, all of them vases and plant pots that I've just shown you. Um, it's such, a, aside from packing, uploading all the bits is one of the most time consuming thing. Um, then I went back upstairs and it was getting kind of dark in the studio. So I lit this lovely fresh rhubarb candle that was kindly gifted from the Classic Candle Company. And then I'm just showing you all of the sealed clay bits that I managed to do. I don't know which one's my favourite. Let me know which is your favourite down below. Um, and then it was getting dark, so there wasn't a lot more filming that I could do in here. I feel like I need to get some like nice lighting because having the big light on is just not really a vibe, is it? So I feel like I need to get some lamps and stuff. I mean, if you guys are happy with like the candle lighting, let me know because it was really cosy in there. So yeah, I started making some new clay bits that I've had in my notes app for a while that I really want to do as part of the Christmas collection which I'm aiming for mid to end October. So first off I started making this fish and chip incense holder. So I'm making a little plate now. It was a little thick to begin with and I knew I didn't need it that thick so I rolled it out a bit more. Then I had this craft newspaper that I need to use up. So I thought what better way to use it up than on my fish and chip incense holder fish and chip fish and chips I don't know why I'm saying fish and chip so I used that picture there as my inspo because I actually don't eat fish and chips from the chip shop so I needed the inspo pick so I just started by cutting my chips out of the clay I actually did too many I, I did not need that many so I kept going and then I put them all into a little pile of how I was gonna put them on the plate once all of the clay is dry then once I'd arranged them how I wanted them, I kind of squished them down just a little bit so they were kind of stuck together slightly, took them off the plate because I'm going to glue everything together separately and then I added some water just again, the water can act as like a glue when you use an air dry clay so I added a little bit of water. Then I moved on to the fish which I had no idea what I was doing with this fish. I... Uh, multiple times I thought, am I just going to scrap this idea off and we're having a plate of chips because I had no idea how to get the kind of fish shape. It was more like the texture as well. So I did like cut a line through the middle so that one when I paint it, we'll be able to see the white fish in the middle and then that'll contrast the batter on the outside. And for the batter, I just kind of added little bits of clay to make it textured. Then I added some peas and that was the fish chips and peas finished. They'll be drying for around a week and then we can paint them. I also did a couple more items. I did avocado and a beans on toast and it was super cozy in the office. Just finishing up the edit for that studio vlog that you've just watched. I really hope you enjoyed watching. I had so much fun filming it and I felt less alone while I was vlogging with you guys. Let me know what you think of a dedicated channel. Let me know if you would rather see it just on this channel or if you don't mind seeing bits on this channel and a dedicated channel just let me know your thoughts the lighting's really weird because the sun's actually shining so the blinds are making the lighting all weird but yeah i'm just finishing up that vlog and i feel like it was a bit strange just to leave it at that it got really dark and i kind of stayed in there for another hour or so and then Nathan got home and we chilled and stuff and we will see you in the next vlog, hopefully.